Next, he wears a very fine hat, and he's a very fine man. Give it for Pony Boy, John Sorrell. Yeah. Hey guys, I appreciate that. That's the Pony, we call you Pony Boy. The hamburger's fine. I'll go with the hamburger. That's fine, too. No, I don't have a name. I don't have a last name. I'm like Prince. Uh, no, I, uh, I actually just moved here, like, so I just, uh, I'm not running from the law, but it's possible, you know, we don't know. In Florida, you can do that. And I started going to the sauna. You ever go to the sauna? That's pretty wild. Saunas are fun. You sweat away all the sin in your life, and you're questioning your sexuality the whole time you're in there. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I go in there fully clothed because I like to leave sobbing wet for no reason at all. And I always go in there and I ask the same question because I like to find out about strangers. I always ask... Do you, anybody in here, want to let me know if they pay for OnlyFans or not, right? It's a great question to ask people, because nobody admits it, but evidently everybody on OnlyFans makes a lot of money, right? I don't know how. I don't pay for it. I have no idea, right? But I feel like it's something that we just need to get to the bottom of for some reason. So I'm sitting in there, right? This guy's shaving his nuts on one side of me. Like, it's, getting, it's kind of getting erotic, and at the same time, I don't know what's going on in there. I'm getting hot. Things are happening. This guy sits next to me, and he goes, I'm not, I don't pay for OnlyFans. I just run 40 girls on OnlyFans. And I go, hey, man, I think that just means you're like an online pimp. <laughs> right? I think that's what it means. Yeah, I don't think there's any, like, I don't think you can make any bones about it. This other guy, the other day, I was showing a picture of my girl, because I've, I've got the greatest girl on the planet. I fell in love with a girl on Tinder, which is an oxymoron, I know, but I did. It, it really happened. And so I'm bragging about this girl, you know? And I have a picture of my wallet and all this. I'm like old school. And uh, and he breaks out this picture and he starts swiping this picture of this girl, right? And after a couple of pictures, she's a beautiful little girl from like Dominican. She's gorgeous. And uh, and then he has a picture in his hand of a, a, a $400, right? And I go, oh, you're showing me the picture of the girl you that you paid for. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's right or not, you know? But I do like sauna talk. I like to go in there a lot. I do love going into the sauna because I do feel like you can get to know a lot about a person in the sauna really quickly. My cousin used to run a Bally's. You remember Bally's, that old school gym, you know, where they gave you a line of cocaine when you walked in there? You know, that's how that, that was good gym time right there, man. That was always fun. But he used to go, hey, there's a steam room in there. And he realized one time this guy was making eye contact with him, right? In the steam room. You ever go in a steam room? Pretty wild. They're pretty wild. You go there on a Sunday after you've been to the trans, the trans show? It's pretty fun. So anyway, my cousin's sitting in there, and this guy's making eye contact with him, but he sees that at the corner of his eye, so it's like corner eye contact. Not full eye contact, just corner. He can tell he's looking. And uh, he finally looks over at the guy, and the guy's fully erect, looking at him. I swear to God, in a steam room? I don't know if this is true or not. This is just the way he told me. I mean, I'm assuming that it's probably, I don't know, who knows? And um, and they make eye contact, and then the guy starts touching himself. You know, he Louis C.K. his ass before Louis C.K. was doing anything. You know what I'm saying? He just like this is like this is my thing. Back in the '80s and '90s, you had things that nobody talked about, but you did them. Now everybody has to find out what you do, right? It's a little off-putting at this point, right? It's so off-putting. Everybody's got to brag about how much stuff they're doing with other people. Nobody just brags about having a good time with them. You, I tell a girl, I've been out with a girl, and there you go. I met the girl on Tinder. I went out with three. I went on three dates with her. And finally, the, everybody, what does everybody start to ask you? Have you hit it yet? Have you tapped it yet? It's like the first thing people want to know, which is fine. I understand that. Just shows you have nothing else to talk about. I got the light, man. I got it. Jesus is coming back soon. We all know what's happening. Because Queen died, and she is a she is a lizard person, probably. We don't know. We don't know what she is. And he's right. We don't know her last name. So we don't know. And it's odd that she just up and died on us. I needed a little bit of warning. But I did fall in love with that. Well, I won't finish the joke about the girl I fell in love with on Tinder. I'll let you guys have that erotic thing and all to yourselves. You guys are great. Have a great night. <laughs>